Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us be sorry for our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the Paschal mystery you canceled through the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, 
whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the world. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they choose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with the ten strings lar chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver from them from death, and preserve them in, sp in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Please stand. Christ is risen, who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, If we look at the many post-resurrection appearances of Jesus, we would observe 
that the risen Lord has the habit of showing up. Remember our gospel last Sunday on the evening of that day that Jesus rose again. The disciples were gathered in a room and the doors were locked. And suddenly, Jesus showed up. Jesus appeared before his disciples. One week later, the same thing happened. It was the first day of the week, Sunday evening. And again, the disciples were in the room and the doors were locked. And Jesus again showed up. This time, to heal the doubts of Thomas. To Mary Magdalene, Jesus showed up and told her, Tell my disciples to go to Galilee. There I will meet them. To the two disciples on the way to Emmaus, Jesus showed up and conversed with them and broke bread with them. And in the Sea of Galilee, the gospel which we will hear tomorrow, Jesus will again show up, appear before his disciples, and eat breakfast with them. Now this habit of Jesus, of showing up, did not only happen after the resurrection. In fact, Jesus showed up even before he suffered, died, and rose again. And this is what our gospel today attests to. The disciples were in a boat. They were in the middle of the sea. And they were in danger because of the strong winds. And Jesus walked on the water to save them. Jesus must have felt that his disciples needed him at that very moment. And so he showed up. He came, even if that meant walking on the water. Dahil alam ni Jesus na sa sandaling yon kailangan siya ng kanyang mga alagad. Dahil alam ni Jesus na sa sandaling yon kailangan ng presensya niya upang iligtas ang kanyang mga alagad, dumating siya kahit kinakailangan pa niyang lumakad sa ibabaw ng tubig. Parang sinasabi ni Jesus, kahit ano, gagawin ko. Makarating lang ako upang iligtas kayo. And this is something that the early church learned. In our first reading today, the Greeks were complaining against the Hebrews because their widows are being neglected, napapabayaan ang mga byuda sa komunidad ng mga kristyanong griego. And when the twelve heard of this, they immediately acted, they immediately responded to the need by appointing seven reputable men in order to attend to the needs of the Greeks, especially their widows. Ang pitong taong ito mga ngalaga sa pangangailangan ng komunidad, lalong-lalo na ng mga byuda. Ang pitong ito ang magiging presensya ng Diyos at ng komunidad para sa mga nangangailangan sa kanila. 
my dear brothers and sisters, to be attentive to others, to respond to the needs of others, and to show up when we are needed by others. These are signs of a true follower of the risen Lord. To be attentive to the needs of others, to respond to the needs of others, and to show up when we are needed by others, these are also signs of a true leader after the example of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. To be indifferent, to be insensitive, and to be always absent are contrary to Christian values. For how can you say you care if you are not there? How can you talk of love if you do not show up? My dear brothers and sisters, like Jesus, let us always show up. Let us always be present to one another. For presence is compassion. Presence is love. Please stand. With renewed confidence in the love of God, whose help is always close at hand, we humbly present our requests before Him, and for every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the Holy Father and the bishops in guiding the flock especially in the crisis that face the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may grant us an abundant gift of faith so that we may have the courage to face life's problem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy sea of life may find in the church a haven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may have heavenly rest in the Lord's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We also remember the people who requested our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, increase our faith so that we may enter more fully into the life of the Church and so accomplish your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and, by, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are nine days away from the elections, and in a pastoral letter issued by the bishops of the ecclesiastical province of Manila, entitled, Narito ang iyong ina, our bishops ask us to dedicate these nine days in prayer, especially in praying the Holy Rosary, asking our Blessed Mother to intercede for us and to grant us uh, an honest and peaceful elections and that God may give us the wisdom so that we may elect leaders that are according to His will. Kaya po, inaanyayahan namin kayo na sumama sa siyam na araw na panalangin na ito, pagdarasal ng Santo Rosario, at hingin ang panalangin ng mahal na birhe ng ating ina para kanyang tulungan, kanyang ihingi ng biyaya sa kanyang anak, ang ating inang bayan, ang Pilipinas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheni, my darling, Alleluia, we have released the portal, Alleluia, the Sorexi, Sigut Dixi.